We're joined by Anurag Singh, managing partner, Ansid Capital, and Ajay Bagga, market expert and investor. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. And first to you, uh, Mr. Singh, if you could, you know, what are your views? A disappointing listing, or was this something expected? Hey, uh, uh, Gargi, good afternoon. Uh, pleasure being on the show. Uh, so, so Gargi, it was quite expected. Although um, looking at some of the other listings, I didn't expect such a steep fall because Zomato price is holding up, Policy Bazaar, Naika, all the prices are holding up. There's a bit of a demand and supply mismatch because of which the right price discovery is not happening in a lot of these new age IPOs. But I think talking of Paytm, I, I, I think we all need to, uh, you know, while we should salute the entrepreneurship spirit of Vijay Shekhar Sharma and all of these founders who are making the India story, I think we should keep emotions when we are investing out of the whole thing because there is money involved here. So Paytm will do well, not do well is one part of the story. But do I buy it at this price? I think that's a bit of a story that we should kind of try and dwell into. Level uh, hypothesis on this is that, you know, uh, you know, if you bought a Microsoft stock in 2000 bubble at $60, you had to wait about 16 years to get the same price back and get your money back into the market. I do. So the, you know, the, uh, the thesis being that, you know, if you buy something at a wrong price, that bad decision haunts you for a very long time. And there's no coming back from that. So, and, and that's the whole story here. Look, what's the Paytm asked for a $20 billion valuation on this valuation. It is saying that, you know, I am, 20% of HDFC bank, I'm 40% of Kotak bank, and I'm 65% of Excess bank. This is pure financial insanity. And I didn't, don't think that it, this, this kind of pricing ever made sense at all. All right. So don't get emotional. And, uh, you know, it, while it is a great story, you're saying you must approach it clinically and look at the numbers. Ajay Abaga, your views? No, absolutely. You know, this profitless prosperity, uh, which is being uh, held up uh, to investors, normally it stayed in the private equity space. So, you know, the uh, private equity uh, funds are uh, the so-called smart investors. They can take these calls. Now, what we are seeing is loss making profitless companies are holding out the carrot of prosperity. Uh, to the retail investors in the secondary market, which is a dangerous move uh, because uh, you cannot value these companies on the normal parameters that we use, which is based on their cash flows, their margins, and uh, their profits. The, all these companies are saying, don't try to ask us for profits. Look at the growth that we are bringing in. We have a very huge runway and invest in us based on the growth. So Paytm was being valued at 23 times of uh, price to sales. I don't think a financial company you can uh, you know really value on price to sales as such. And that is what has uh, come home to uh, you know uh, uh, roost today. Uh, we saw that there was uh, some trouble in uh, filling up the IPO. In the end, a lot of institutional investors came out and uh, invested. Uh, we don't know who uh, these players were, uh, but clearly the valuations were uh, very high, uh, very steep. Uh, the fundamentals uh, were not in keeping. It was the India growth story and the digital growth story which was sold. And clearly the markets have turned skeptical about it. So what I would uh, tell viewers is uh, don't put too much money uh, into uh, companies like these uh, where the profits are not there. Uh, you can have an array of such companies. Maybe one of them will turn into a multi-bagger, give you very good results. Maybe one becomes the next Amazon or the next Microsoft. Uh, but a lot of these companies will fail eventually. And or they will take a long time uh, to turn profitable. Uh, that is the trouble right now in the market. So be wary. Look at the valuations and see what you are buying. Just don't go by the momentum and the frenzy that's gripping the markets right now. All right, and I'm, I'm out of time, uh, but Anurag Singh, uh, just final word, uh, do you think the you know stock will bounce back? No, uh, Gargi, I'll be, I'll be surprised, you know, uh, with this kind of an interest. And I think this is, this is the problem with all of these frenzy IPOs, you know, if, if it starts stumbling, 
then it takes the entire all of the others uh, you, you, you know uh, ipos together with it right and that's the whole thing if you if you are holding something and it keeps growing investors have confidence but i think the moment it starts stumbling i think that's where everybody becomes a seller because you know nobody really understands what they are is essentially buying All right. Well, thank you both for joining us this morning with your views uh, on uh, that uh, Paytm listing. Thank you.